In 2019, I was in the same position as you. There was under one month until my GCSE exams and I didn't know whether I would scrape a pass in GCSE maths. I then went on to get one of the highest scores that my school has ever seen. And this is my short but sweet method of how I did that. Hi guys, my name is Ab and I've been tutoring GCSE maths for almost four years now. I have seen students go from failing their exams to getting grade eights and nines using these proven techniques. So you know that this is gonna guarantee you a grade nine if you listen closely and follow along. This method relies on the ultimate resource, Maths Genie. Maths Genie is genuinely one of the best revision resource that guaranteed me the grade nine. And I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to utilize the resources that are on Maths Genie to help you succeed in your exams. This method is split into three steps, understanding, applying, and consolidation. Make sure that you don't skip any steps because there are some techniques you probably have never heard of before that grade nine students do all the time to guarantee their success. Step one, understanding. I think the thing that people don't realize with GCSE maths is it's not like GCSE science where you can just memorize a ton of information and just hope for the best. It's a subject that requires you to truly understand what you're learning and how it's gonna to apply to future exam questions that you might encounter. Once you understand each topic, you will never struggle with opening your exam paper and not being able to identify what topic a question is asking you about. And when I say understand, I don't mean doing what this geezer here is doing. What I recommend doing is to watch the walkthroughs on Maths Genie, make notes on any key formulas or key facts that he's used to answer the questions. If you're doing foundation, then you'd have to focus on the grades one to five sections. And if you're doing higher, then you would focus on the grade four to nine sections um, on the Maths Genie guide. There are around 90 topics that you need to cover, which means that if you genuinely want to achieve your dream grades, then you're gonna have to make a few sacrifices. It means if you're watching this video when it's first posted, then that means you're gonna have to do four to five topics until near your GCSE exams um, in order to actually be able to go through each topic. And before you ask, yes, there is still time, but you have to act fast and you can't waste any more time. You can also use a YouTube channel called The Maths Tutor, which is gonna help you to understand any topics that you need maybe a little bit more explanation on it or a little bit more examples on it. He also has walkthroughs on the hardest questions ever asked on each topic, which is specifically useful for those grade eight and nine questions that are at the back of a paper. He also did a, a very useful walkthrough last year, which was to do the whole of GCSE maths knowledge. So just purely the understanding and some example questions or the whole of GCSE maths for under two hours, um, which is really useful if you're cramming for your exams. So specifically like the night before your exams it can be really really useful for helping you understand those topics um, that you might have forgotten to go through step two learning after you go through a specific topic you need to immediately answer the exam question pack on that topic the best part about math genie is it eases you into the topic by starting off with the easier questions at the beginning and then gradually getting more difficult as you go along Maths Genie uses questions that are based on old spec questions, um, which is really useful because sometimes exam writers might refer to uh, questions that were asked like 10 years ago because they know that students aren't going to look for old past papers. So they know that if they were to include it, a lot of the students wouldn't know what they're doing. Um, but obviously, if you use Maths Genie, it literally will give you those old spec questions. And um, for me personally, some of those old spec questions came up in my real GCSEs in 2019. After you complete a question pack, you need to use the mark scheme to mark your questions. And also, this will identify any weaknesses that you have on that specific topic or anything that you need to re-clarify. Another thing that I found useful was to essentially screenshot any questions that I got wrong and put them onto a PDF and then and the night before my exam or the morning of my exam I would go through that PDF and basically identify anything that I previously got wrong. Hopefully after doing this for each topic you're going to feel so much more confident on each topic and you're then going to be able to go into full past papers. Step three consolidation. This involves doing every past paper there is for your exam board including November resets, sample papers and specimen papers. I know that might sound long and that you might have seen the questions before and you don't think they're gonna be asked again, but you're wrong. There's been many exam questions that have been repeated to catch out the students that don't do their past papers. For example, this question came up in 2018. The question was answered poorly, so they repeated it in 2020. As you can see, exam writers are lazy and won't be afraid to just repeat topics and questions to identify who the students who study smart are. 
After you do a past paper, you need to use the mark scheme to identify any weaknesses and check your progress. One technique I found useful was to check every question that I got under 75% correct and then make a list of the topics. And then a few days before the exam, I would prioritize going over those topics. I hope you guys found those tips useful. Remember, you still have time to become that maths person and secure the dream grades that me and you know you deserve. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.